Hi everybody, my name is Andrea and the last time we saw the beautiful Sunday, she was off to Uganda. So Sunday's back now. Hi. Welcome Sunday. Um, I come back alive. <laughs> Sunday's alive. Yes. <laughs> so we're just gonna get a little bit of a background to see how Sunday went. And um, so Sunday, we're glad to have you back. How was the trip? Was it everything you thought it would be or more? Um, very honestly, it is very much as I expect uh, the environment because I was um, a volunteer when I was 23 in a refugee village and the uh, situation in Uganda, um, it looks similar but also different. Yeah, the difference is just the poverty is massive. If you only know this figure, you can imagine ninety percent of the population cannot manage to have two meals mm -hmm. a day. Yes, it's very sad. It's very sad. So, what do you think was the highlight of your trip, and what was the mm -hmm. most challenging aspect of your trip? I know not being able to have three meals a day can be a bit challenging for those mm -hmm. families, but what was challenging for you? Um. The, the highlight for the trip that it is, I hope that um, I or our team, there's 17 of us, hope that we can do more. Um, we go to visit um, those family, distribute food, those of age, and then the most thing that challenge us it is first they are really fight for survival mm -hmm. they just need food yeah. and then the second is the medical and then it's the education uh, we're very happy that the Utala True Health Foundation uh, as a partnership working with that local charity they very very good they see that they have to bring this children through from survival to being educated and become the leader of the country in the future so it can change but for us our challenge um i don't expect that i only slept maybe five hours per day and then we work um from the morning uh 6 a.m we wake up and 7 we start a quick breakfast and then devotion breathing and then we start and we have our dinner at maybe 7.30 or even 8 p.m. Mm. And then, yeah, I would call the physical challenge the first. And the second, it is an emotional strain. Um, not only me, many of us uh, find it very hard. Uh, the heart is just that we felt that we are so blessed and these people did a lot. And then we, we hope that, you know, more people to see their need. Uh, we appreciate what you did yeah. um, so you know some teams are very lucky to have you come and talk to them about your experience mm -hmm. for those of you who didn't see you what do you want to share with them what would you like them to to know what would you like them to do um, if anyone watching this no matter you are uh, right here in New Zealand our USANA family member or friends and I would like to say that you can make a difference. Yeah. You don't need to go to Uganda. If you know that one US dollar, that means two NZ dollar, they can provide free meals for children. And then for them, they have a sponsorship program, there's $40 that can bring for one person, education, medication, COVID. If you don't know whether it is worth it to donate, I want to tell you. It's containers and container food and nutrition and medication from USANA True Health Foundation ship it to Uganda. Then USANA, Dr. Mindvance is very humble. People, they know there's a doctor care about them, but they don't know. Oh, that is the USANA founder, they don't know. And then you may not be in famous if you donate to Dana, but you will make a so much difference. If you were friends, 
if you're an associate or preferred customer, you can kickstart off your auto order regularly. Don't let the children have a meal one day and start for one week and another week they have a one meal. That's why the reason regular donation is very important for them. Um, I hope that I can earn more, but I know only me, I cannot change the world, but you and your friend and your friend and your friend, your team and your team member and your team member, together we can change. We give hope and love by action. That's so true. Action speak a thousand words. So all you need to do is make a donation. Go to your shopping cart and press donation. And simple $2 is not that much, New Zealand. Come on, you can do yeah. it. You pay $2 for a pie, a Coke, a water. Yeah. It's not that much. Yes. If you say, mm, I don't know them, but I trust Sunday, you want to do it, you can uh, either donate to support my 5K1 in August. I hope that before August, all the New Zealand team and all the world team, they are going to fight for it to increase their donation. Yeah, um, that's what I want to challenge everyone to do a little kindness. Yeah, so the challenge is now on you. If you miss Sunday's journey in Uganda, uh, we will add those videos onto the link of this video. So thank you all for tuning in and thank you Sunday. Thank you. Thank you.